It's time for Change My Mind, The Power of Persuasion, the most persuasive show on ETV. Here's your host, Lena Myway. Welcome to Change My Mind. You know you want it. You have to have it. Everyone's buying one. Don't be the last one on your block to get one. What? Just fill in the blank. The newest music player, video game, cell phone, the hottest logo fashion item, you name it. It's called getting on the bandwagon. What's that mean? It's any attempt to convince you that a product, service, or viewpoint is good because everyone is buying into it. It appeals to the desire to be part of the group. So where'd we come up with the bandwagon idea? Well, it once literally referred to jumping onto an actual bandwagon as it moved down the street during the temperance movement when people were protesting against drinking alcohol. If a person jumped on the bandwagon, it meant they were turning away from drinking alcohol and choosing a different life. In today's world, everyone, from your friends to advertisers, are encouraging you to jump on some sort of bandwagon or another. Sometimes I dream that he is me. Got to see that's how I dream to be. Bandwagon advertising didn't start with Michael Jordan signing on to sell for Gatorade, but this form of advertising became high art with the phrase, Be Like Mike. Who hasn't fantasized about making a 360-degree spin slam dunk or about having Jordan's fame, money, or talent? You've done that, right? Tried it. Hey, Michael Jordan learned that move from me. Oh, I I'm sure. Really, all you need is the right sports drink. Our guest is here to tell us why it's so easy to get people to jump on the bandwagon. Let's welcome the king of advertising, Sal Z. Huckster. <laughs> Sal, what does it take to get an audience to jump on the bandwagon? How does this technique work? Well, Lena, the goal of the bandwagon technique is to make people feel like they belong to the group, to, to be like everyone else, get, get approval from their peers. There's a time when momentum is moving forward and people jump on the bandwagon because it's a thing to do. Give us an example. Oh, all right, for instance, all the clothes you see people wearing with corporate logos, you know, American Eagle, Hollister, uh, Amber Crombie, kids wear those clothes to be cool. So they, they go out and they spend a lot of money on a shirt with a logo on it to be one of the crowd. Some people buy an iPod instead of the Zune because they think it's cooler to have an iPod, even though they both do the same thing. What about the notion of fitting in? Well, well every group of people has its own symbols of approval. Uh, Bikers, jocks, geeks, you know, ev everyone. But beyond getting an education, fitting in is what high school is all about. So the bandwagon technique works. Sal Huckster, the king of advertising, ladies and gentlemen. Whether it's a sports star urging you to buy sports drinks or your desire to fit in with your classmates, know that you're being manipulated. It's a powerful technique and it works. That's all for Change My Mind. I'm Lena Myway. <laughs>